crafty friends this is julissa of paper gems by jewels and today i am sharing a fun alcohol background using some tim holtz uh, alcohol inks to create some spooky backgrounds using uh, some stamps from unity's august 2023 kit of the month they have these beautiful um, stamp sets that I absolutely love. I have subscribed for several years. I have quite the collection of kit of the months and what's great is that you can use these stamps throughout the year. You can mix and match. They work with uh, several other um, kits from Unity as well as other companies. So um, one of my favorite subscriptions of theirs. Um, but either way, um, there are two different witches um, that are just silhouettes in this new stamp kit, um, the kit of the month. And I am having fun with the background. Now, I'm not really great at this whole alcohol ink thing. So I, of course, have a collection of them because I am a crafter, therefore I collect. And so I'm just trying to have some fun with this. And I have the you know, the, the dryer that I needed and I have a lot of little different things. So the first one that I did, I just put the alcohol ink on the paper first, on the Yupo type paper first. Um, but for this one, I did the alcohol, like the blending solution first and then put the alcohol. Not sure that it made that much of a difference. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or whatever. I mean, the truth is go with it. Just have fun. That's, that's what I love about alcohol inks because you can be super creative and just make a mess and it still looks pretty cool unless you make mud. Um, if you go too crazy with some of the colors, it can get crazy and become just brown. But what I did here is I kind of kept spraying and you'll see that I kind of come back to this. I'm, I'll get into it a little bit later, but I moved on. I die cut these using the deckled, uh, deckled and stitched edge uh, rectangles dies that Unity has, which I love that they came out with dies as well, because if you can't get enough of their red rubber stamps, you're going to love their dies as well. So um, use their deckled edge die cut these uh, alcohol ink backgrounds. And now I'm using stays on. Now, again, I don't do this often, so I'm just kind of exploring so don't mind me join me whatever it is if you've done this before and you have better ideas feel free to tell me um i thought i had shifted my my background so i just wanted to double check to make sure that i don't mess this up so i uh used a transparency to line it up and make sure that it wasn't messed up but i just stamped on with stays on that's the ink that i looked up and said um, it said that it was the best one to use over alcohol ink. So if you know that there's a better technique or a better ink, feel free to post it in the comments. I'm all ears. I'm always learning. I'm just sharing what I did to create these two cards because again, it's fun, you know? Um, so here's the other background. And then I was, I was doing this. I thought, you know what, maybe I want to just try something different and just don't mind me as I OCD kind of clean some of my other stuff but I decided to spray this again so just bear with me because I have a little spritzer of just alcohol ink and if you just spray it, it creates these little dots which I think are so cool because it gives that little a little more of a grunge look so I really like that look so I kind of kept doing it so just don't mind me I'm just again exploring playing with this do the same have fun with it don't Feel like it needs to look a certain way and if you are trying to achieve a certain look just keep trying um don't throw this out whatever it came out as you can use it for something else you can stamp a giant sentiment you can die cut it for something there's always a reason to to make use of it so just don't throw it out and don't give up here i am using another of the witch silhouettes on here Again, I'm using stays on to stamp over a couple times just to make sure I thought it was good enough. Um, I think I'm going to clean it in a second. Maybe I do one more round just to see if I can get all those blotchiness again. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, if I should be doing something differently, if I should be waiting, if I should be heat setting it. I'm winging it. That's what I'm doing. And it's fine. 
it's handmade, not Hallmark. I'm just going with the flow. Here I am cleaning. Moving on. So for the sentiment, um, I used one of the sentiments. I am die. I already die cut the stitched version of the deckled stitched rectangles. I'm going to use white pigment imp, white pigment ink to stamp the sentiment. And then I flipped it over to do this. This didn't pan out the way I had intended, but it's fine. If you can line them up so that they're both in the same rectangle, that would be awesome because then you can just die cut it using the smaller deckled edge stitched rectangle. And then you kind of cut it, finagle it in the middle so that it cuts a smaller rectangle. So you can reuse this. You can throw it back in there. Um, because it's a deckled edge, it is supposed to be rough. So it's okay if you recut it because it's going to be kind of a jagged edge anyway. So it's not going to look bad. As you can see here, it just looks kind of distressed. So it doesn't look terrible. Um, I originally glued this on and then I thought, hmm, I want to add more. So I found some of that black uh, twine, jute, whatever it is, really thin uh, string, burlap string, that's what they call it. Um, so the, the really thin black burlap string wrapped it around just to add a little extra to it using some random tape that I had on my desk to, uh, to do this. And then I'm going to add that sentiment. And I'm using a super thin foam tape. Now, I don't even know where my friend got this for me. Um, when you have crafty friends, you'd be amazed at what they find for you. Um, so I love to add layers, but then I hate to have to add all this extra postage in order to get something sent, especially when it's like last minute. So my friend found a super thin foam tape. I can't tell you where it's from. I'm sorry. I will try to find it. I will ask and try to put it in, um, a link, but it is super thin which is awesome because it doesn't add too much bulk, but it allows for like string, as you can see. Um, it allows for any sort of whoopsies. So it just gives a little bit of room and a little bit of extra without too much bulk. Um, just cleaning my space off. I had a little bit of glue. I forgot that I had cut that hole out in between. So the glue had come over. So I'm gonna do the same concept here with this other one. Um, just this one's in a landscape form. Again, using that same burlap string, trimming it off, using the tape. This is all going to be tucked away. And using a little bit of that super thin foam tape. It's just amazing. I love foam tape. I really do. And I'm so glad that they have it in different um, thicknesses because sometimes it's awesome to have that bulk because it looks really cool. But then... Sometimes it looks really sleek to have just a little bit of dimension, not too, too much. All right, so I'm adding this extra layer on here and I'm going to add it to white card bases and we're done. I hope you found some inspiration. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, make sure to comment below and I will be happy to answer them. Thanks so much for watching. Happy crafting.